All right, guys, today we're back with another arcade one up infinity game table video. And the game we're taking a look at today is called Ultimate Brick Breaker. As you guys probably guessed by the name of the game, you actually are trying to get rid of all the blocks above and try to get the highest score. Just like Ultimate, just like Brick Breaker was back in the day, except in this one, you're not actually using the paddle to kind of hit the balls up and stuff like that. This one, you're kind of aiming the ball and kind of throwing it in the direction, trying to gather more balls up there to give you more. Uh, balls to actually be able to throw at and you're trying to not obviously make them hit the bottom area here So you lose and the more you kind of keep going you try to get as many points as you can in turns And the game has local leaderboard support where you're trying to basically get the highest score Everyone has their own different profiles and stuff It is a pretty well done game of brick breaker on here with the fancy graphics and the way the blocks break and stuff is really has a nice really cool effect and stuff as you guys are looking at there I like the fact that th how that looks so let's go ahead and get into the video and Let's talk about this game a little further Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech. Alright guys, so this is a game of course that we uh, you obviously play in landscape mode as you guys are seeing here. So we're playing this game like this. And what I really like is that you can actually go into the settings here and you can actually change the orientation, which a lot of games do not let you do, which is really cool. So you can go in here, change it to portrait, you could technically play in landscape. But it definitely does work better going like uh, uh, going in portrait mode like it is right now. But you could play it in either direction. Uh, but you definitely get a better way of playing the game in this direction. And you guys will see why here in a second. Uh, because it just fits the theme of the game. So you do have a profile that you can create here. So if you click on the top here, since I already created one, everyone can have their own individual profiles to create scores. So everyone in your family can have their own and, and kind of go after the leaderboards, which is really nice. And even if everyone creates their own their own profile, when someone's in someone's profile and you click the leader the ranking there, you'll still see the scores for everybody who played, trying to compete against each other and basically trying to get the highest score. You also have your profile up here uh, where it gives you your level. Unfortunately, uh, when you click on your level here, it tells you everything you've done, how many bricks you broke, and everything you cleared and all that stuff, which is cool. Your highest score and how many turns you did. But what is weird is that, uh, at least as far as I can tell, the levels don't seem, the levels here don't seem to actually do anything. They're kind of just there for show. It doesn't seem like you unlock anything for getting higher levels or anything, at least not that I've seen so far. Um, but either way, that is what that looks like there. Then we got the classic mode. There is just classic that's sitting right here. So let me show you guys exactly how this game works. So again, you're trying to basically get the highest score possible. So you have this at the bottom here, and you're basically aiming it using your finger to kind of aim back and forth, and you're trying to hit the block up there. That yellow thing over there is basically like getting another goal, so you definitely want that as well. So I'm going to aim it right there. I obviously missed that, but you're basically trying to aim it in a way like I could do something like that. Now I have times two, so basically I have two balls that get thrown up there every time I throw instead of just the one. So now when I do something like this, you can see two balls are going out. So I have the chance of two balls kind of hitting all these things. Now I got three, so let's say I aim over here. And now I'm going to aim this way. Now I got that one. Now I got uh, four balls because I obviously hit them before. We want to get this one out of here. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. Because basically what you're trying to do, of course, is you're trying to make sure that these don't... That was terrible. You're trying to make sure that these don't come out and um, hit the bottom area here, as your eyes are looking at here. We're not getting any, any, any combos right now here. This might do us well. Let's see. That was, a, that was good. That was better. That was better. So you can see we got all of these balls that we just gathered there, and we got a lot of them out of the way. So we don't want these to, bricks to come crashing down at the line here. You guys probably have played this game a lot before. It's not a new concept or anything. Brick Breaker has been around for a while. It's just this one's a little bit different that you actually collect more balls and stuff to kind of hit more. So it's a little bit different than, than a, a different spin to what we're kind of used to with these games. But the idea is obviously still kind of the same. That's basically it. You're going around trying to get the highest score here, as you guys are seeing here. There we go. We're doing pretty well. We need to get this one out of the way here before we end up hitting that one at the bottom. This right here, when you throw it, this little icon appears. You can basically bring the balls back immediately if you're trying to do that for a specific reason. Uh, so you can do that. But yeah, the game's fun to try and get a high score. Obviously, it's not a, a board game or, or some crazy party game. It is a one-player experience. But there is some fun to be had, especially if you're into these types of types of game of, of Brick Breaker and stuff. This used to be a really popular game that a lot of people used to play, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people got a kick out of this game. It does work well. It does look nice. Like I said, I love the way that the bricks kind of break on you, and when things start going crazy, like they might go right now, there's a lot of flashing lights 
a lot of fancy graphics there and everything kind of just blown up with the colorful art and stuff so it makes it visually visually cool to actually hit there we got a lucky bonus there so it, it just makes it cool to look at as you guys are seeing there but uh the idea is still the same so if you guys are into ultimate, like brick breaker and trying to get high scores in the leaderboard which i really like that they actually have local leaderboard support so you can actually try and get the highest score against your friends, which is really good. Uh, this is definitely a fun arcade type experience to play on the Infinity Game Table. Of course, I'm still waiting for the more board game type games and more board game type party games. But I understand that this definitely fits a need because they're obviously going after not just people like me who like board games, but they're also going after families, people who have kids, easy games like this. And I can't believe I just missed that entirely. Um, so... Check this one out, guys. This game is $4.99 on the Infinity Game Store right now. It is a lot of fun, and it obviously is infinite because it always changes. You're trying to get the highest score possible, so there's never an actual an actual ending here uh, because you can keep playing as long as you can uh, be good, essentially, and, and, and not get hit here, which it looks like I'm about to get hit pretty hard here. We'll see if we make it here to the end. Let's see. I feel like all of these are about to crash on us. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're done, guys. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. And we survived another round. And we can kind of hit this one. Let that one get out. I still think we're probably going to lose here. That 23 over there is going to kill us. Got that one out of the way again. We're still going. We're still going. Let's see how far we can get before we end this video. There you go. Didn't do that well. I got a higher score last time, but you can see you get the highest score at the end. It tells you how many turns, and you just hit continue. It does your nice little animation here. Like, again, I like the fancy like looking animations here. It looks pretty good. Um, even though they're simple, they're, they're just nice to look at. You got your high score there, and then you're leveling up progress, as you guys are seeing there. That's it, guys. If you guys have any questions about what you guys saw in this video or how the gameplay works or anything, uh, check this one out. If you guys like this type of arcade game on the Infinity Game Table... If you guys have any questions, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.